Hello everyone, my name is John Hammond and welcome back to another video and we're going to be taking a look at the WGEL CTF from TryHackMe. So I have this over up on my screen here. Uh, this is a free room so you don't need to be subscribed in order to access it. It says simply have fun with this easy box and the only prompts that we have are user flag and root flag. So once our machine spins up we should just have an IP address to muff around with. Uh, I'll clean out some of my notes from a previous video. Uh, looks like that shell super broke so I'll reset this here. And let's make a directory for wgel ctf. I think that's how you say that. I have no idea. Um, let's create a simple readme file for this so we can keep track of our notes. I will go ahead and export that IP address here, slap that into my shell. Let's see if I can ping that machine if he's up already for us. Still taking his time, so let's go ahead and build out our tasking things just to have this here. User flag, um, that should be one. And two should be root flag. So let's burn through this here. Let's see what we got. Um, that machine is still spinning up, so let's take a little bit of time. Anyway, we can go ahead and make our nmap directory to stage that and get that ready. Um, we'll also grab that export IP command, and we will start to nmap tech sc, tech sv, tech on, nmap initial. Let's run that on the IP address and let's kind of hang tight until that machine comes up for us. Maybe it's also just actually not kind of, I don't know, showcasing pings. We can kind of just go access the web page itself and see if that is alive. Nothing at the moment, so we'll stand by. Uh, we are still connected to our IP address or our VPN, are we not? Verify. Okay, looks like it's good. I'll just hang tight and wait. Stand by. Okay, looks like he is uh, responding now. So, how's that web page look? If I were to refresh this guy, still taking his time. Let's, let's fire off our nmap scan regardless. Let's see if he comes up soon, or if our nmap scan dies as well. Okay, so now this uh, web page seems to load. Uh, it's weird to me. Because it's, it's an Apache 2 default page, which we see all the time, but it's weird that some of the notions here aren't, like some of the files here aren't filled out. Uh, let's just view the source here, see what we have. A lot of CSS, kind of default stuff. Items are commented out. Jesse, don't forget to update the web, is it? Okay, so update the website. Jesse, that's a peculiar name. Um, let's start some other enumeration on that. Let's go ahead and Nito tack H, HTTP on that IP address. He's going along. Um, let's start GoBuster as well. Oh, is that nmap scan done? Didn't find 80, but found SSH and some funky ones. So I guess I'll rerun that. Um, let's grab this again for this new shell down here. And let's do some GoBuster. Let's do GoBuster attack you on that IP address. Uh, I'm going to specify my word list for opt directory listing. Let's see if I can figure any of that out. Um, sitemap. What the what? Okay, it's worth seeing if that's a thing. Maybe there's some other information that we have not seen before. Sitemap. That gives me a 301 and redirects me somewhere. So let's see if that page loads. UNAT template. What the heck? Take on your biggest projects and goals. So this looks like a whole directory. This is a this is a folder thing. Uh, let's actually restart that GoBuster and see if we can figure out anything else inside of Sitemap. And I'll bump around in here. Works goes to work. HTML services. Okay, so these are all pages. Don't seem to have anything interesting. Contact info, that looks fake. Info at your site, your website. GoBuster found images, good enough. I'm just gonna slowly poke through these. About UNAP, is this actually a video? Let's see, oh, that's a thing, that's a real thing. That's got timestamps and everything. Let's not play that on my YouTube channel. Dorothy Murphy, no one else, and Adam Morris. Adam, what are you doing, dude? That's not how you drink drinks. <laughs> about, 
Okay, the page does not change when it says services is still saying that thing. Shop, HTML, contact HTML. Can I abuse contact? Uh, maybe we can muff around with that form too. That's an option. In app. CSS, JS. Automatic backup data. Let's check. Is there a robots.txt file hidden over in any of these? Sometimes it's supposed to be in the root directory, but it's not always. Is there a .git directory in there? No. But like, is it BZR? Or what is it for bizarre? There's some weird stuff in there. Fonts. So you're just getting stuff at the moment. Grid works with grid. Hmm. Let's look back at our other enumerations because we still have Nikto running. And the nmap finished. Looks like it found those. Um, what other options do we have? We can still run Derb because GoBuster is good to have that, but Derb also has some other worthwhile um, dictionary files. Like some of the stuff that they share for Apache, these are really cool. If you go take a look at these, it'll have some other files like that might be more likely on a web server. So they have one um, common, I think it's called. Cat, and that's in derb word lists, common.txt. That has some good good stuff. So let's try him. Uh, I'll do the same go buster tag you on my IP address, but I'll use the word list from common. Let's see if he finds anything else there. Okay, so HTA pack. Oh, let's do that in the sitemap because we know that we have some stuff in there. But we did see the HT password. We can go take a look at that. HT password. I cannot read that. What about HT access? Ooh, maybe? Nope, still no. Okay. Oh, what the what? There is a .ssh directory seemingly within sitemap. So let's try and navigate to that. If it loads, whoa, okay, we have an IDRSA file. So that's a private key. Nice, sweet. So um, we could try, uh, we don't need really you Nikto anymore. Let's just make that IDRSA file. Um, and we know that username was Jesse, right? Let me check. Page, I thought it was Jessica. Did I misread that earlier? Blah, blah, blah. Where'd it go? Jesse. 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 So that's the name. Okay, so let's actually move. Let's call that Jesse IDRSA. Uh, and let's make that 600 so it is an SSH key that SSH would be willing to use. Um, let me grab. I accidentally nerfed my shell just a moment ago. So uh, SSH tag I, I uh, Jesse to Jesse at the IP address. See if that connects. Oh, and it logs me right in. Okay, awesome. So, seemingly no flag. Um, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Find grep flag. It's in documents. Cat that flag out. There we go. Let's slap that in here. There's our user flag. And we could go ahead and SSH copy some stuff over. So SCP tack I Jesse at that. Let's move Lin P's over into Jesse at, let's grab that IP address. At this guy in dev SHM. See if that will work for us. Okay, copied it over just fine. So dev SHM, let's try and privesk. I'll run Lin P's and see if we get any good stuff. Whoa, okay, I already felt like I saw some potential privesque techniques in there. Stuff in my path is potentially writable. Uh, I am pseudo. I'm in the pseudo group. What is in that? Whoa, user Jesse may run the following commands. No password on wget. Okay, let's go check out GTFO bins and see if we can do things with wget wget file upload, sewage sudo, fetch a remote file via HTTP get. Hmm. Uh, I can only file download and file upload. 
So we could get a root flag, but we could also get a root password. We could set a root password, and that might be kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's let's see let's see if we can pull that off. So okay, you can stop that, um, little NPs. Let's take this etc password and let's fake a root password we could use. Um, let's create a simple new entry or let's modify the root entry and etc password right here with our own password that we want to supply. So we could do that with Python. Um, get to a regular shell that's on my host. Let's go ahead and Python import crypt. And I think it's crypt.crypt .crypt and the password that we want to use. So I'll just say please sub as our password and let's copy this string. Yep, yep, yep. Let's paste that in. So let's call this a uh, password file. So let's um, get back to the victim. Let's try and actually make a copy of etc. password to etc. password dot back. And I can't do that. So let's put it in dev shm. So we have a place we can write to. So if we could download files, we could host our new bad one, our new bad etc. password that has our custom command or password for root in there. And we could overwrite that so we have our own password set for us because we can sudo w get. So sudo w get looks like it works. Um, let's go spin up a server on our attacker machine. HTTP.server port 8000. Uh, I believe I am still 10891112. Yep, yep, yep. So let's get HTTP 10891112 at port 8000. Let's grab that password file and it needs to have tag capital O to where it wants to store it. So let's put it in, etc. password, and it wrote it. Okay, so let's check out cat, etc. password on the victim, and now we have our fudged password for root. So we could su to root with please sub as our password, and now we're root. So now we have a root shell, and we wouldn't need to, we, we could have just exfiltrated, like, okay, grab the flag with, um, getting the file and sending it to our own machine. Uh, but I think it's much more fun to actually get a root shell. So that technique, just clobbering, et cetera, password with our own set password for an account will help us do that because we could write to a set password, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead now into root and grab that root flag. Cat root flag. Thank you. Thank you. And we're done. That's that machine. So, Pretty cool, super nice, pretty easy. Uh, I like that wget privesque. Um, I, I, I hope that technique is kind of neat for just clobbering that etc. password entry. Um, again, the other option is just exfiltrating that flag out, but kind of neat to get that initial access with um, finding the username and finding that directory uh, in the flag or in the website. So that was that was very very cool. I think. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this room. I thought it was kind of neat. Um, but again, just wanted to showcase it to you. If you did like the video, please do press that like button, the comment button, type things in and hit enter. Uh, the subscribe button, you know, the picture of my face and all that stupid stuff. So <laughs> thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.